Fantastic. Hello again, my dear friends and subscribers and viewers and commentators. Now we are on the road to Austria. We're just driving out of the rich suburbs of Munich. I um, set up my uh, microphone again a kind of different way. You see it like this here now. So now it's right behind the windshield. I hope that will end all the wind problems. So today we are going to drive from Munich into Austria to the uh, south end of Austria. I picked up a camping spot that looks really nice with like a lake where we can have a swim. You know how I like my swim. It's a three and a half hour ride and I am um, trying, I'm doing my best of bringing you the most interesting vlogging content I can. I mean, there's like two sides to the, to the metal. One thing is I can't like leave the camera on all the time or actually I think I could but yeah and, well I can do audio scrubbing so my problem is that I can't watch me through like four hours of material But you know what, at the end, whenever I say something important or I want to put it in the vlog, I can just put my hand like this here. And so when I'm scrubbing through the, through the uh, video, then I know where is an interesting spot. Okay, so let's try it like this today. Today I'm going to leave the camera on all the time and vlog like everything. And whenever there's something interesting, I will do like the, the movie clap. Is it a clap? In German it's called the film clapper. Um, you know this thing like hand action cut, you know what I mean. Okay, let's try it like this. Next stop would be a gas station. I mean, I still got enough gas for, well, probably 150 kilometers. But then we need to make a stop and, well, we check everything out. Tonight I'm gonna make some nice drone shots of um, the Alps that I'm really looking forward. I hope they're gonna be really nice. And then, well, let's see what the day brings. Oh, she's got a nice old Vespa. See, that's what I mean, like, Vespa riders, oh, sorry, Vespa bikers are snobby. They're like, all like, so, ooh, I'm the only one who owns a Vespa. Mm, no, I'm not saying hi to uh, hickey uh, Berliners like yourself. I'm a fine Munich lady. I don't have to talk to people like you, uh -huh. <laughs> Yes, especially when we're having a gypsy Vespa like this. What's crazy is the whole packing works so much better every time we're leaving, like we're professionalizing the packaging and the luggage every time. So, Kathy, are you all right? Are you having fun? Do you need something? Are you hungry? No? Okay. Are you looking forward to Austria and the lake? Yes, me too! <laughs> yeah, in Munich, very famous, or all in Bavaria, is the, the Maibaum. And they're actually really nice because they put it here on the on the Mai Fest, yes, on the 1st of May. When? 
Okay, yeah, they set it up on the 1st of May, which is like a holiday in Germany altogether. In the East, it's more known as like the Working Man's Day. So it's kind of a socialist um, holiday. And, but it has also Christian tradition as far as I know. So, yeah, and then they put like all the um, famous houses and famous um, um, farmers, they put it on that, on that Maitri. So we picked another super hot day to drive down in the south. It's gonna, it's supposed to be like 32 degrees today. This jackass over there just threw his cigarette out the window, which during weather like this is a freaking good idea. But you know, you can pull a person out of shit, but you can't pull the shit out of the person. So we just stopped at the gas station and I had a nice talk with this uh, other Vespa biker. He had a big nice Vespa. I think like a GTS or yeah I think so. Pitch black. And uh, he was amazed on the trip that we're planning. He said the forest he ever got was Gardasi. So famous North Italian lake. We're not passing this one, but we're taking a, um, a lake uh, more to the, to the west of that one. You see the reflection in the car in front of us? So you can see my light. I was having one um, little problem with the bag up front here because I thought that this bag is a little too tall for the light to still pass through. I mean, I still got lights down um, on the close, to the close to the knees, but um, yeah, it's better to, to, to have the light um, on top working because it's like a very important light. And it was kind of troubling me. So um, on regular way, it's like this. So that you can actually see no light at all anymore. But if I do like the in German Aufblendlicht, so the, the, the bright light, um, I'm just gonna drive with this light all the time now. Because it's still not as bright to piss off um, other drivers. But it's actually bright enough so we can see everything or people see me and I doubt that this way any cop will have a problem with that. So yeah, I just realized that I've been wanting to try it out for a while but now I did it and it's working pretty good. Oh, the Alps are coming closer. That already looks so nice. And look at this, this is so freaking pretty. That scenery, God, I love that. And the moon grass here smells so good. We are in Zugspitzland now, so the kind of the pre-Alps. And around here is the Zugspitze, which is the highest mountain, or uh, tallest mountain, highest mountain, how do you say that? The tallest mountain of Germany. Whenever we went like on vacation down south, 
we were sitting in a car so you did not even realize what a what a crazy building a tunnel is so the camera is gonna turn off pretty soon I'll give you a nice last uh, uh, view from nice hill here next to Garmisch-Partenkirchen Hello my friends, so we made it into Austria, we're almost in Italy This camping ground we found here is insanely nice and beautiful We're right next to a waterfall on the lake between the Alp hills So honestly like it sometimes feels a little like I died and woke up in heaven. This is insane. I already did a couple of drone shots. They went, uh, they turned out to be so great. And yeah, we're gonna have a dip before the sun is gonna vanish behind that hill. And then I'm gonna do some more. So yeah, this camping ground is called camping via Claudia See and it's just beautiful